Brightest day. And blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! Hey guys, it's Larry Sky. And I'm bringing you this video to pretty much talk about the benefits of getting DLC 6 Home Turf. Now like every DLC, they always bring out some new content, new equipment, all that kind of stuff and then everyone burns through it and gets bored within like maybe a couple of weeks. But the main reason why I think the DLC 6 Home Turf is really good is literally from the um, mainframe abilities and what it can give to DCUO. Now, um, normally in groups we need healers, controllers, all that kind of stuff, and um, on some solo instance people might find and struggle to complete it. Now if um, you don't have DLC 6 Home Turf, I really recommend that you get it. Um, my life's been a lot easier since I have had it, from all the benefits I will go through in a minute um, from what you get through on the mainframe. Now. As I said earlier, maybe all about the extra content and equipment you can get from it. For me, that's just like every DLC. But literally, the main reason I got the DLC was to do with um, the mainframe. Now, if you're legendary, you get a layer. But if you're a premium, you get, um, I think it's a dive, I'm not too sure. Maybe a base, and if you're free, you get a dive. But anyway, the mainframe. This thing I absolutely love about this DLC. All the benefits you get from it. Now, um, since I play D DPS and a controller, it's pretty expensive for me to um, run the mainframe every month because of all the um, stuff I need to get. Since I just don't play a DPS or I don't play a controller, I would not. I'm not. I just don't have to select a few things. I pretty much have to have all things available. Now, you have a choice in this one, upgrades and boosts. Upgrades are pretty much a one time off. Once you've got them, you never have to pay for them again. But with boost one and boost two, um, they are literally like a 30 day rental. This one costs like 600 and something Mark to Triumph. This one's 3,125 Mark to Triumph for 30 days. There, so there is a big difference between the boosts. Now the first one is Orbital Strike. This is pretty much uh, mainly for um, DPS. It is At boost 2 it will pretty much just go up from levels up to boost 2 when it will just do a big chunk of damage, damage over time and it will um, ground root stun and deal damage over time to all enemies in the surrounding area. So it's really good for DPS and it's good just for killing um, bosses in solar content a lot quicker. Now Supply Drop are one of my favourites. As I said about Orbital Strike, it grows with each um, one you go up by. So at Supply 1 it pretty much just heals anyone that passes through the supply drop, including you. At upgrade 2, it will heal you and all your allies instantly. So at upgrade 1, it just heals you and allies that pass through it. And, it heal and at upgrade 2, it heals you and allies instantly and over time. Boost 1, it will heal, it will heal, it will heal and restore power instantly and over time to you and your group that walk through it. And at, and at boost 2, it will heal, restore power, you know, instantly and over time, and it will give everyone a damage modifier of 50%. So it's good for DPS, it's good for you, and it's good for your group, which is good for DPS, controllers, healers, it's pretty much suited to all roles. So this is another reason that you could solely get DLC 6.4 is for Supply Drop. Now my personal favourite to do with the whole DLC is a Sidekick. 
Slug Kicker upgrade 1, it just attacks your enemies. Upgrade 2, it attacks your enemies and it heals you. Boost 1, it will taunt your enemies, um, which pretty much means it will aggro them away from you, which is good if you're a controller or a healer. You don't want to have adds aggro on you, so the sidekick will take the aggro away from you onto itself. And also the sidekick will attack enemies and heal as well. Now the, it just doesn't heal you, it, the sidekick actually heals itself, so the sidekick can last a god, um, a god amount of time. And at boost 2, the sidekick will taunt enemies, heal you, and replenish your power as well. And I think each time it gives you power is roughly around 300. And I think it does that about 3 times. So it's quite a lot of power that the sidekick would do. Now this is really good for support classes, trollers, um, healers, or just in general for anyone who likes to do a lot of solo content and having problems um, with survival. This will keep you a lot. Li this will keep you alive a lot better, with power, healing, and the way it will taunt stuff away from you. Oh now, all backup is is simply put, the, it will summon um, one add at boost at backup one, and it will summon two at backup. I mean at upgrade two, and when you get to like boost one and three, it summons like three of them. And the difference between the boost 1 and 2 is a little bit of damage, and at boost 2 they fly. So this is really good for DPS. I don't really um, think it's much good for um, any other role apart from DPS. But I could be wrong, this is just my um, view on things. So I only ever use this for when I'm in when I'm DPS and stuff. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, tactical mods. The difference between these ones is the amount of access it will give you. Now, upgrade one, it would dispense. Um, it would just give you mods available for um, your weapons. Upgrade two, weapons and your neck. Boost one will give for your like your weapons, neck, and uh, back or feet. And boost 2 is like your weapons, neck, um, pretty much everything else. The last slot in your thing which is your chest. So for me I always have boost 2 because of all the abilities I can get from the um, white mods. And I'll show sure you get your white mods from as well. But a good thing to do is always you want to need to maintain your batteries, or I should say generator cells. Now if, as you can see by the circuitry on, on the left hand side, if this one was to run out it would cut the circuitry and pretty much make this one useless. So if I was, if this was on like 20% and these were on 80 and this one ran out before this one, this one would pretty much break the circuitry and then the rest of these would become useless so you wouldn't get the benefits from them. So you have to keep an eye on your battery cells to make sure that they're all running and that you will make, and that none of them have decided to run out on you. Okay, and so where pretty much where you get the white mods from, and all the trinkets like backup, psychic, orbital strike, and so on, it's pretty much from the vendor at the beginning of your layer. As you can see at the top, all your sidekicks, it, it lets you choose one, pretty much from all the weapons. Psychic, shield, martial arts, staff, and then you've got of all the styles you've got from your layer, you could have a whole host of them, and it'll give you a backup to do with the theme of the layers that you have or have bought. And as you can see, you've got your mods, anything to do with weapons, neck, back, feet, chest, and so forth. And now these mods will can give you anything from extra damage. Um, Healing from when you break out, power restor you know, restoring some power from when you do like use inertia flywheel, um, penetrating strikes, you know, you can your, your attacks can ignore some certain defense. They can some of the mods can make some of your skills not interruptible anymore, like final ruin, all that kind of stuff. So 
and also with the weapon ones you can get ones that uh, reduce damage uh, deal extra damage give some healing to you restore power and so on so for me DLC 6 home turf is a very important DLC and it has brought a whole new um, perspective to DCO and abilities to DCO allowing people to be able to do solo contents, duos and pretty much bring more um, abilities to their group overall like supply drops, sidekicks you know so depends on your role is um, how you want to run your um, trinkets, mods, all that kind of stuff for me since I'm DPS controller I pretty much run everything and I just change out and for what role I'm running at that time so if you don't have home, t home turf DLC 6 get it it's really good and you'll find your lives a lot easier in the future and more beneficial towards your group so guys I hope this video will persuade any players um, who have currently haven't got the DLC to get it and to if you're struggling or if you have home turf DLC 6 and you currently don't understand what the main what's so good about it this is pretty much the main reason why not all the other contents the mainframe and the abilities it gives to you and to benefit your groups Okay guys, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll catch you later.